And it's Gary Spain here for Irish Football Fan TV with Jess Zhu of the Republic of Ireland women's team ahead of this absolutely massive game mm -hmm. v Finland on Thursday. Can I get your thoughts on the game, Jess? Yeah, I'm really excited, really looking forward to it. Um, I'm happy to be back involved uh, with the team. Uh, I think Finland are quite a tough opposition. Uh, we're going to analyse them, but I think it's important that we don't change anything about ourselves. And we're coming into this game with a one point uh, lead than them. And uh, I think a lot of people have seen their manager got the sack after the Euros and stuff. But I think that's something that we can't dwell on because I think sometimes bringing a new manager in can actually have some positives on the team. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to the game though. And what's the aim? I mean, a win obviously guarantees a playoff, but a draw, would a draw be enough? Honestly, I haven't actually, I haven't looked too much into it. Uh, I don't really know a lot about it. I'm just kind of, I haven't even looked at Slovakia yet. I'm just, all my focus is on Finland. So yeah, we'll take it from there. And what about the crowd and the atmosphere? The game sold out in minutes. I'm sure you're getting loads of demands for tickets. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I had a lot of people text me asking, uh, the tickets haven't gone on sale, they haven't gone on sale because the website kept crashing. Uh, luckily we get we get a few uh, for our family and friends and all mine were gone in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, it's our first sellout and I think it's an unbelievable achievement and hopefully everyone that did get a ticket can show up and there's no empty seats in Tala. And uh, have you a message for the fans for Thursday night? Um, I just think it's important that they get out and uh, show us their support and hopefully we can uh, reward them back with three points. What about what about the WSL and your move to West Ham? How's that going? <laughs> Unbelievable. I feel like it's been a dream move for me. Uh, the club has felt like home since I got there. I'm really happy that it's been West Ham that I went to. I've felt so welcomed by staff and players and uh, hopefully we can get get a, get a goal against Chelsea and Stamford Bridge at the start of the season, which is another huge thing for women's football, getting to play in the men's stadium. Yeah, a really tough one first up, as you <laughs> said, the champions. <laughs> yeah, probably the best team in Europe, in my opinion. So uh, I think there'll be a lot of uh, defending in that game. So uh, yeah, we'll be all ready for it. And did you experience much of the atmosphere in England, just the way women's football has taken off so much, gone to another level after the Euros? Uh, do you think there'll be a knock-on effect here with that? Yeah, I think to England winning the Euros will probably uh, cast in more uh, media attention to England, to the WSL. I personally think it's the best uh, league in the world. And even our pre-season games, we were getting big crowds in, which is probably the same amount of people, probably double the amount of people that we used to get at Shell. So uh, I could only imagine what it's like on game day. And uh, what sort of crowds are you going to expect at West Ham now for the home game? Is it going to be significantly more? I know you weren't there really there last season, but what do you think? It's um, well, I think sometimes it'll depend on the opposition, like playing against Chelsea. I know they've got a huge fan base. West Ham have a quite a strong fan base too, but I think Chelsea being one of the best teams in Europe, uh, they'll, they'll get a lot of people in. But we also have our own fan base, and uh, I'd say it'll be a couple of thousand there at the game. And uh, are there any plans to play in the... The main, the main stadium, the Olympic Stadium. <laughs> um, right now, I'm happy with the Aviva. This is our first time selling it out. Uh, we've made huge steps, like we're after selling it out, which is a huge step for us. And uh, I feel like the Tala kind of fits our football demands. And uh, for now, Tala is our home. We started to campaign there, and we're going to finish it there. Okay, that's great. Thank.